in case you missed it, one of my neighbours brought me over a pot of cherries. Thanks very much, Caroline. They'll, they'll go very nice indeed. Thank you for them. Okay, so you saw me digging out the onions there, and uh, there was a couple, this one in particular, it's the onion white rot. Now, they say that once you get this in your beds, you've got it for about nine years or something. So, uh, this onion won't store. I'll be able to use most of this onion tonight uh, for what I'm cooking. So, I mean, it is firm, it's just the bottom bit that's a bit mouldy. And what happens is, is that the white rot uh, rots off the roots. And once the roots have gone, the rest of the bulb just rots from the inside. So, uh, I can still use this tonight. But the other ones, all the other ones that I've kept, all the other ones that went in the blue, um, the blue tub, they're all, they're all perfect. Hang on, I'll show you. For, for example, there's one of the Elsa Craig. No white rot. Nice and firm. That'll store well once it's dried out. What I'll do is I'll hang it upside down until all the green parts have turned the same sort of brown, yellowy colour as the rest of it. And then it'll be ready to store. Similar with the Red Baron. Not all with this size, some are a bit smaller. But I'll hang these upside down as well. And uh, that's the onions for this year. Now, because of the white rot, Here's a dilemma. Do I plant my leeks in there or not? Uh, no, I'm not planting leeks in there. I'm planting leeks over there where the, the peas were. So the leeks are going to go over there. So we're going to put a mishmash of things in here. Peas, maybe beetroot, carrots, lettuce, things like that. Things that things will keep us going until the winter time. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed that little snip. I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye for now.